Hello everybody and welcome. Today I want to share with you my new refrigerator that I plan to put inside the camper van. This is a 53 quarts, um, 12 volt, 24 volts or 110. Okay, so you can use this uh, inside the car or at home or wherever there's power, all the three power sources available. Okay, and it has wheel and it has the extended handle, uh, fold, foldable handle that you can uh, drag it around with you. Okay, I'm going to show you where um, in the van I want to put it because this is portable and if you're looking for something like this and uh, not a very expensive refrigerator it's about three hundred dollars around there and it has dual zones um, one zone you can set it to freezer and the other one can be a regular refrigerator and or you can set it to both as a freezer all right let's open the box and see what we got Alright, here it is. The brand is Alpicool. Alright, it has wheels. And here on this side, you have expandable handle to carry. Okay, or you want to carry it this way by rolling it. And here's the control panel. On up here you also have a USB port where you can charge your device through here also and what we got inside okay dual zone two separate cl climate control and I think this is the power port we have. Okay, the manual and the, this is the uh, 110 plug. And also you have your 12 volts to plug into your cigarette lighter. very rugged finished on the lid here I like it it's not easy to scratch and where I'm gonna put it it's gonna serve as a table or a counter top so it doesn't slip that easy and it also has a light on this side will show you when I, I hook it up and this is removable basket so easy to clean and it has a drain plug on the bottom the plug for the power okay it doesn't stick out much it's, it flashes with the handle here so that is good save you space There you go, I fit it between there. Fit perfectly. This is a uh, Sprinter van 2016. And if you have a swivel seat, uh, putting it this way will not work. Um, because Since I don't use it a lot, I decided to put there, it's more efficient for me and I don't have a lot of room in the back. This is a crew van. I have passengers in the back here. So it works better with the fridge there and everybody can access to it whatever they want. All 
you can see it's about the same levels, same height as this, the seat here, 18 inches, which is perfect. I can use it as a a uh, counter while I'm driving, and also it's easy to access when I need something out of there. Okay, I plugged it in right now to my socket, 12 volt socket, right there. And uh, just enough clearance for the shift. It's it's not in the way. You can see, and not sticking out the back either. Okay, so the fridge is designed to work even it's tilt up to 45 degrees, and it has uh, battery protection that will in case it it running. Uh, so it doesn't drain the battery. I had it set to uh, 31 degrees just for test and open and here are the LED lights. Okay, uh, the noise level, it's supposed to be like below uh, 45 decibels and I have it on right now. You can set it to, uh, let's see, max setting, medium, high and low. Okay, I barely can hear it like humming right now i can hear the noise from the street louder than in here so let me close the door so you can hear it very 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 really little and as soon as it reaches the um, the uh, set level, it's gonna turn off, and then you won't hear anything anymore, and it will not uh, run, and it's um, fully automatic. Okay, check the temperature. Oh, it's already thirty-four degrees inside there. That's four minutes from a sixty one degrees. Oh, yeah, it's really cold. And there you have it. I want to thank you, everybody, for watching, and I hope this video provide you some information just in case you're looking for something like this not a very expensive 12 volt refrigerator or 110 AC refrigerator it works for both the car and at home and in the park and anywhere as long as you have the power source and I will post the link to this refrigerator down below and please subscribe thank you so much I will see you next time Bye now.